Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm going to be showing you how to get a house for free. You need to be in White Run right here. This is after you complete like two or three of the main quests, and the guy gives you permission to buy a house in White Run. Yeah, I'm going to show you the way it is from when you fast travel in case you're still relatively new to the game. Okay, in order to do this, you need at least 5,000 gold coins. It's still free, but you need a minimum of 5,000 coins for how much the house costs. I'm not the one who discovered this, so I'm not taking credit for this. Uh, I've seen more than one video on YouTube for it, so I can't really tell who posted it first. Most of them came out on the same day, it's just I want to make my own video of it. Alright. Sorry about my character looking so crappy. This is an old save, by the way. Alright. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if you need any help or anything like that and subscribe for more videos. I'm going to be posting a ton of Skyrim videos. Basically you just want to take the right edge over here. Or I guess you could take the left, it really don't matter. I took the right and then you just want to go straight towards that room right there. Alright, what I would do before I did this is I would save it right in front of the guy in case you mess up. That way you don't repeatedly have to keep trying this. Because it don't work every time. It depends how fast you're you're you're, you're about it. You know. Okay. He. So you you want to try to do this around like nighttime, like 12 p.m. or or 1 a.m. Basically, just wait until then. But clear off the dresser and have about stand right here. All right. Save. Just in case you mess up, where you can reload your save. All right. You talk to him real quick. Can you like to buy a house for five thousand? As soon as you say I'll take it, press B button and go right into the cover as fast as you can. Sorry, I messed up. Alright, go right into the cover and just go to your inventory. I don't know what I'm doing right here, I'm sorry. Alright, go to your inventory and you just drop all your money into this little cover thing right here. And he's going to give you the key regardless and not even take no money from you. See, which he didn't take no money from my inventory because I didn't have any. And there, that's basically it. I know I left my gold, but this is an old save, and I really don't care. All right, show you where the house is. This is supposed to show you where the house is. The um, the little mission thing right here. Visit your new house. But for some reason, it, it, it glitched up on me, so I didn't really follow that way. I'm just gonna show you where the house is real quick. And in the house, you got two things where you can store items at. And in this game, I believe there's no limit on how much you can put into an empty chest or an empty dresser drawer, which is pretty awesome to me. I mean. Uh, my dress store's got so much shit in it, it ain't even funny. But basically, the good thing about having the house is you can store, like, your dragon armor and stuff like that. I mean, your dragon bones and stuff. That way you can... That way when you're able to build your dragon, you want to build dragon armor or something like that. You know, heavy stuff. Stuff you don't want to sell and stuff like that. Um, to, later today, I'll be posting a video on how to kill 20 dragons pretty much in an hour. Is I found a way where the dragon just keeps peering up every two days. It's pretty cool. I'll be posting that up today. I'll also be posting a video on how to get your lock. I'm at your pickpocketing up to 100 as well. All right, thank you so much, YouTube. Please give me a thumbs up for all my help. Um, I hope this helps you out a lot. Leave a comment if you need any more information or anything like that. Peace out, YouTube.